We're here in Hamilton. We have this pear tree that we're going to be topping. It was topped before. It's one of the few things you can do to these trees besides putting cables in them. And most people don't want to do that. So we're going to be topping it to a foot. A foot above where it was topped before. You can see the new growth coming off of the stubs. That's where it was cut before. This tree also has a cavity back here. So we want to keep the weight. We want to keep the weight out of the top of the tree so that it doesn't snap off. We're also going to be removing the swamp maple in the backyard. The tree was topped before. That's one of the worst things you can do to a tree besides the pears. The pears handle topping real well. You can see where the limbs die, where the cut is made when they topped it. And you can see all the dead inside here. So one of two things happen, where the cut was made when they top it, either that, that limb dies or they get sprouts coming off of where the cut was made and that growth, the second growth, is not as strong as the initial growth. So we see a lot where the new growth in about 8 to 10 years, the new growth is about 20-30 feet. And then in a windstorm, the wind snaps those limbs. The tree was pruned right the first time. Number one, we wouldn't be removing it. And you won't have to worry about coming back to clean out all the dead limbs, although this tree is coming out. We do try to save the tree if it was topped. But in this case, we're not. We're taking it out. And you can also see the bark peel away from the trunk here. And you can see the holes. The holes, I would imagine, are from carpenter bees. They tend to go after the dead wood. You don't really see them boring into, live, into the live wood. It's usually into the dead, dry wood. We're also going to be removing a stump and taking away the stump grindings. You can see all the sawdust on the ground. I would make an educated guess it's from the carpenter bees. So again, if this tree wasn't topped before, we could just prune it. So topping trees five, eight, ten years down the road, eventually they have to come out. Whereas if it was pruned right the first time, the homeowner would be able to save this tree. So this is what it looks like when the pear tree gets topped. It's going to fill in nice for next spring. Homeowner won't have to worry about it for another five to eight years. Won't have to worry about the the trunks splitting. Now here's the maple that we took out. ground out the stump and all the surface roots and we took away the stump grindings. Homeowner is going to let this sit for about a month, let it settle, put down topsoil and grass seed. 